Hey everybody, uh, Dave here. I'm going to talk about a simple finish that I put on these uh, shaker barrier boxes I make and I taught a class on. And this actually is not a complete one, obviously. It doesn't have a bottom on it. It's one that I glued up and it came out really out of square, so I kind of just threw it in the scrap pile. Um, I'll probably use it for kindling, actually. But I'm going to show you the technique I use. And I mix up a real simple mixture of beeswax, boiled linseed oil, and uh, I use turpentine, though you could use mineral spirits or paint thinner also. And this is it right here. It's a little bit chunky. I'll kind of explain that a little bit. But it's real simple to apply. Put some on a rag or a paper towel. Rub it on. Now this isn't a super durable finish. I get a pretty good coat on there and I rub it in. But it's real easy to reapply. You can just put more and more on. And while that's drying, before I buff it out, I'll show you how to make some up here. Put the lid on that. So I just use an 8 ounce ball jar. Okay, so I have this 8 ounce ball jar here. Just a standard everyday uh, ball or whatever brand this is uh, jar. I usually look for the ones that have a graduation on them with ounces. These just happen to be what I could pick up during our pandemic and everybody started to start canning again. So you take what you can get. But to that, I'm going to add about a third of a cup or so, or about a third of the way full of pure beeswax. This is just pure, 100% purified, or 100% beeswax that's been purified, yellow or white, really doesn't matter. But I want that about a third of the way up. Yeah, right about there. For that, I like to use turpentine because I've discovered that turpentine doesn't separate like uh, mineral spirits might. I've had various luck with various mineral spirits over the years, um, but this seems to be where I'm going. And yes, I have a knife in my hand just because I like to pry the top off. And I'll fill that about a third of the way up. Or rather, fill that up to the two-thirds mark, I should say. So, a third of beeswax, a third of turpentine, and now the final magic ingredient is boiled linseed oil. Which I'll fill up. The rest of the way. Wipe that off. Put a lid on it tightly, and I'm going to give it a shake. And then what I'll do is I'll put it up on a windowsill where it gets uh, a lot of sun. And about every day for about a week, I'll stir it up. And the wax will soften quite a bit. The turpentine and linseed oil wax kind of form an amalgam together. And you'll end up with what you just saw me putting on that box. This right here. And you can kind of still see there's little, still little um, bits of the wax in there, but it's so soft that as soon as I put it on with a rag, it just disintegrates. So that, that's fine. And once it dries, and it dries the wax and turpentine evaporate up pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to go grab a clean rag. I'll be right back. So you can actually see just in a little bit of time, it's already starting to soften the, the mixture up. So this is what I put on just a couple minutes ago. It's still a little bit, well, actually, that's not that tacky. It's dried up quite a bit, and you can buff it out. And 
get a nice protective finish on there. Maybe I'll put a couple more coats on, maybe um, maybe two or three. It can go on real quick. I mean, I can throw another coat on and go. It's got a nice sheen to it. So that's the finish versus the unfinished, and that's the corner I dumped it in the uh, linseed oil I spilled. So, um, so that's unfinished. Finished. And it's a nice, not real durable finish, but it's perfect for something like a berry box or just something that's not going to get a lot of actual physical wear. I wouldn't finish a chair with it or a tabletop, but for something simple, it's a quick, easy finish that has enough durability to protect the wood. All right, everybody, thanks, and have a great day.